Hey folks, welcome back to Waygate Technologies. Dan here. Today I'd like to show you very quickly uh, how the probe selection menu works on a DM5E. So to select the probe, we touch the mode button. And your keypad may be different. If you have a newer DM5E than mine, your keypad's uh, more monochromatic, more gray than, uh, than all the colors I have on mine. But the keys are all in the same place. Um, anyway, you press the mode button to go to the probe selection menu and you notice you can use the up and down arrow keys to move the cursor, the inverted video cursor, up and down through the list. But when you get to a, a new probe, let's say we want to select the DA507, uh, the two soft keys at the top of the keypad here are underneath uh, menu items on the bottom of the display. We see the select menu item is above this button. So if I press select, you notice now the greater than, less than symbols are on either side of the selected probe. So that will remain the selected probe now. If we press the mode button and go back to the main menu, come back, we see the DA507 is still the selected probe, but the highlighter's back at the top of the list again. The, the cursor is back at the top of the list. So the inverted video is just the cursor as you move up and down and we're going to get back and we're going to select the DA501 probe. So again, the selection key is a soft key underneath where it says select. These arrows just move up and down. If we were to move off of this menu now and come back, the DA501 is the selected probe, so it's going to remain the selected probe. The selected probe is the one with the greater than and less than symbols around it. While the the uh, probe with the cursor is just, you know, temporarily uh, indicated. So that's how the probe selection menu works. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, thank you for choosing the DM5E.